This Hess's Law problem is a pretty simple one. We're going to basically make an adjustment so that this top reaction, which is a combustion, we want it to have water here as a gas, as a product, and figure out what the number would be here, the heat of the reaction, if that were a gas. Like we said, that's why we're in a thermochemical equation. The states of matter are important because for example, water as a gas has more enthalpy, more energy stored within it. So um, we're going to make that adjustment, which is a pretty common thing to want to do because heats of combustion vary with whether the water is a liquid or a gas. And in some situations, when the water forms, it will condense right away. So you would use a heat of combustion that makes that assumption. And um, sometimes it it's assumed to be a gas when it forms because maybe it's in a warm environment and then you want this one. So it's a good, a good um, adjustment to be able to make and also the warning is that when you look up heat to combustion you've got to see, be careful about which assumption that they are making. So our, again, our goal is to figure out what the heat of reaction is if this were going to be a gas. So let's write our goal reaction down here so we can kind of have that clear. This, by the way, is ethylene that we're burning, which would burn, it is a fuel, but it is used to make plastic as well. So that's our, our goal is to figure out, oops, I need to put the gas right there. Figure out what the heat of that reaction would be. So um, our steps that we did before, we would look at what's in our goal reaction. And let's just start here. C2H4, one mole, is a reactant, and the only place I see C2H4 up here is in this first reaction. So I know that this first reaction has to be used as is. If I check, the oxygen works out as well. Three moles is a reactant, three moles of a reactant. CO2 looks good. It's when I get to the water, um, it's not in that one. If I find the water as a gas, it's here. Okay and water is a gas, I need two moles of it, and I also need it to be a product and not a reactant. So that means that I need to basically flip this one and multiply it by two. So I would show that as a negative and then a two to multiply it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and um, add these, so up here, and see what I get. So I'm going to, let's flip this one. Actually, let's flip it before we add. No, I'll, I'll do them both. Okay, so let's just start adding, and this one we'll remember to flip. Okay, so um, I'm going to put these here. Okay, and then my other reactant, I got these two, my other reactant will be this one, but I'm flipping it, so it's going to be times negative two, so it'll be, um, so that's why I'm choosing this one, times two. Okay, and if I need to, maybe I should show you how I'm doing that. Let me go ahead and show it right here. What I'm doing is I'm saying and then this will be times negative 2, so negative 82. So that's what I'm really adding when I multiply that one by 2. So uh, let's see, so that one came here. Okay, then I'm gonna go get my other products up here. And 
and then my other product down here. And then I look at my net reaction that I added up and see if anything cancels. And I see that the water is a liquid, cancels, two moles, two moles, and everything else is left. And if I add those together, if I rewrite this, I would have And then for my heat of reaction, I'm adding this one and this one, which gives me a delta H of negative 1469 kilojoules. And sure enough, I can check. This is the reaction I was looking for. And so that's my answer.